Here, what we're going to do in this C++ video is we're going to take the numbers 2, 3, 4, 5, and we're going to switch it so that instead it says 5, 4, 3, 2. Now, it might seem like a daunting task, but in fact, it's actually going to be about three lines of code, if done properly. But let's understand what's going to happen first, because that's the hard part. We're going to take this number, and we want to figure out what the last number is. If we were to do 2, 3, 4, 5, mod 10, that would say, how many times does this go into number 10? What's the remainder? Well, the remainder is going to be 5, because that's the one that's not, um, a that's not divisible. So 2, 3, 4, 0 is divisible by 10. The 5 is the leftover. That is a way to see what the last number is. So I can save that as my next number. Now, if I want to make 2, 3, 4, 5 smaller, I can divide by 10 with integer division. Integer division would say, what's 2, 3, 4, 5 divided by 10? I don't mind about the remainder, just ignore it. Well, it's 2, 3, 4, 0.5, but we're ignoring that because we're doing integer division. So 2, 3, 4 is the remainder. Now, what I have to do is I have to get my 5 uh, to be saved, and I have 2, 3, 4 as my uh, previous number. Again, I repeat, rinse, wash, repeat, or whatever it is. 2, 3, 4, mod 10. That's going to be 4, because that gets me the last number. And 2, 3, 4 divided by 10 gets me 23. Now, how do I connect my 4 over here? To my 5, I want to say it should be 5, then 4. Well, the trick is that instead of saying 5, you times it by 10 to get 50, and then you add the 4. So you have 54. And now when I take off this 3 in the next step, I times this by 10 again, then add the 3. So I get 5, 4, 3. And when I get the 2 off, I'm going to do the same thing, multiply it by 10, and add the 2. So I get 5, 4, 3, 2. Okay, those are all the logical steps. If you are a little shaky on it, you should listen to that again. Okay, I'm going to implement the code now, though. Okay, so what did the code say? The code says create a number x. Int x equals 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say int y equals zero. That's going to be my new number. Now, the code to switch it was that we took y and we said, what is y equal to? y is equal to x mod 10. y is equal to x mod 10. Well, that's perfect because that would be 5. Okay. Now, the next step is to say that x is equal to x divided by 10. So it's going to be x, 2, 3, 4, 5 divided by 10 is 2, 3, 4. I will make this a little bit sharper by writing that. And now I'm going to go to the next step. Now, I'm going to turn this into a loop afterwards, but hold on. y equals, now whatever x is, I'm just going to do mod 10 again. Now, the only thing is y isn't equal to x mod 10. It's supposed to be whatever y was plus x mod 10. Now that would say 5, because y was 5, plus 4. But that's not what I want. What I really want is y times 10. 5 times 10, 50, plus 4 gives me 54. So that's what I really want. So I have my x set up, I have my y set up, and I know that x is going to eventually go to zero because what happens with the x is, as we mentioned, you start with 2, 3, 4, 5, you divide by 10, it becomes 2, 3, 4, then 2, 3, then 2, then 2 divided by 10 is equal to zero if you're talking about integers. So I can do this by doing x, x not being equal to zero, and that's how I'm going to do it. Now, what happens to the y as we go? Well, the idea is that y equals y times 10, which initially is 0, plus x 
mod 10. That's going to take care of what that's going to take care of. The second part is going to take care of adding the number from at last number from x because x mod 10 is the last number and y times 10 is going to make sure that when i had the 5 it became a 50 when i had the 54 it became 540 etc x is going to be equal to divided equals 10 because we're dividing by 10 and i'm going to see out y and line and now i have the code that will run this literally three lines, four with a C out. I will run it and I get, well, I will run five, five, four, five, four, three, five, four, three, two. Each time it goes around, it adds to the X. Each time it goes around, I'm sorry, it subtracts, it takes away from the X and adds to the Y. There is your code that is going to reverse the digits of this number.